Smith. At one time, we thought Will Smith and Jada was Shaq and Kobe. Just on some, you know, red carpet, let's get this money type shit. But how Jada Pinkett Smith moving, it, it don't make you want to really be that close with a woman. It'll really make you three consider, not reconsider, three consider ever being married. Damn, baby. You talking about so much personal business. What was your, what's your credit score? What's your beacon score? We don't believe you was worth 50 million. Now, show it to us. Prove it to us. We don't believe it. Now, show us. Show us. Will, go home, Will. Go home, Will. They called me Will growing up. Will, you just, come on, Will. This woman is at it again, man. What does she want? Does she want to just, like, fully destroy Will Smith? She hasn't destroyed him enough? This is getting ridiculous, man. This is beyond humiliation ritual right now. This is beyond. If Will Smith can't see that he's literally sleeping with the enemy, how can you sleep with both, both eyes closed? How can you sleep with both eyes closed? Sleeping with this one right here. This is a demon. This is a personification of a narcissistic, uh, narcissistic human being. She is unbelievable. Wow. It seems like every step, every move she makes is to completely humiliate her husband. Just bring him down. She's a succubus. She, she's going to drain the life source out of him and then move. She's like the silver surfer. You know the silver surfer in the Fantastic Book comics? That goes about from planet to planet, decimating, draining all the resources and energy from the planet, and then moving on to the next. She's like the silver surfer. She's riding off the coattails of a dead man. Oh, every minute, every minute, Tupac, Tupac this, Tupac did that, Tupac did that. Tupac wasn't effing with you like that when he was alive. All of a sudden, now he's dead now. You're the closest person to Tupac ever. Even more than his own sister. Man, go and sit your bald ass down, man. Can't stand it. She's just she's a little demon. Like, what? You say like, like uh, she was worth 50 million before she got with Will Smith? Come. You're a silly celebrity at best. Worth 50 million? Come on, bruh. What movie did you do your, that, that you're worth that, uh, that amount of money? What movie? You set it off back in the 90s? Set it off. Set it off made you all that money. Yeah, stop playing. She's, she's not like a proper, like a drop dead gorgeous kind of like a movie star. Or she's not, she's no Whitney Houston. She's no Sharon Stone or Scarlett Johansson or Margot Robbie. This is just flat. She's got the hips of a 10 year old boy. When the going gets, when the going was good and everything was nice and gravy, she was there. Enjoying the ride. She knew the time was going to come. She's going to leave his ass in the ditch. She even said she never wanted to get married to Will Smith. The amount of things this woman have said to totally destroy this man. You should have seen the sign a long time ago, but he stayed. There is this African proverb, this uh, African saying, that a dog that wants to go missing, a dog that was, that's about to get destroyed, would never listen to the calling of its master. Just destined for destruction. He is already he's seen time and time again. Imagine how, how much contempt a woman must have for you in her heart to turn your own kids against you. She introduced the kids to LSD. She introduced the son to uh, mushrooms, ayahuasca, and all this other stuff. Having the daughter writing letters to a dead man, writing letters to Tupac. Saying, oh, my, my mom is not happy. Uh, Tupac, wherever you are, please, could you please come back so my mom can be happy? When she was a baby, she wrote that. Imagine the brainwashing that she's brainwashed them kids. Your own kids. You know how precious a man's daughter is? She's taking that away from Will. Will right now is just somebody that pays the bills. It's just a guy that comes around. This guy's, you know, yeah. That's all he is. Just a bill payer. You see why a strong father figure foundation is needed in the household? Because we'll never grow up with a father. Don't understand how to pick women. 
A bunch of men nowadays been raised by worldly women. I'm not talking about women. I'm talking about worldly women. There's certain type of women I'm talking about. The loud minority, the very vocal wayward minority, the sex reds and the, the Sukianas and all these promiscuous weirdos that they shine the limelight on are the ones raising these little boys. How do you think these kids are going to grow up not knowing how to pick women? They're going to pick their mothers, basically. When you grow up, your, mother's has a, uh, your mother has a bunch of tattoos on, gold teeth on, very boisterous. Every single sentence is F this, F that, cuss words, cuss words this, fighting her up and down in the streets. That child is going to see that as normal. He's going to grow up and get a girl like his mom. That's who emulates who we're around. That's who mold us. That's why the very early age of a man's life, of a child's life, is very, very important. Imagine she went on a red table talk. Just, just a few things she said to humiliate this guy over the years. She said, he Fs her like a girl. Jada said Will Smith Fs her like a girl. He's soft. <laughs> oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. And now she's saying, recently now, yeah, during the, the infamous Oscar slap, Will Smith went out and slapped Chris Rock. And she was surprised he called Will Smith, called her his wife. Remember when he was going crazy and said, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth? And she was more surprised that Will called her his wife than the actual slap. You tell me this is not a demon. You're surprised. She's saying, oh, they've been, they were, they were separated for six months. Why did you come to the Oscars then? Why didn't you just stay at home? Oh, we're not together anymore. I'm not coming to the Oscars. Because you want to go where the limelight is, isn't it? Even when they're on, on the red carpet and stuff, right from time, look at the demeanor. She never wanted to be with this guy. This is a prime example of a guy desperately trying to make a woman love him. It's pathetic. It's beyond sad at this point now. It's annoying. That the rest of the world can see what's going on. But you. Are you that desperate for love? Count your losses. Let the woman go and move on. She wants half. Give her half. She wants 60%. Give her 60%. You're going to make it back. Let her go. Cut her off. Go and apologize to Chris Rock properly. Because people, everyone feels sorry for Will Smith. So if he leaves her... And goes and, and begs for apology. It's, go, it's going to be accepted back. The people, you and I and everybody else is going to walk him back into our hearts. Like, oh man, it was just a guy that was just, you know, being destroyed by a cantankerous woman. But you have to let her go. But he can't because she is his God. He's put her on a pedestal. She is his God. You see him in the red, cap in, in the red carpet. He's in his own premiere of a movie. And he puts her in front and like... Tells the, pap the paparazzi, points to her, like, like he's adoring her, like, she's his God. He's obsessed with her and she doesn't care about him. She, he's just a means to an end. Every single second, every chance, chance she gets, Tupac this, Tupac that, Tupac, what? I wouldn't even date a girl that brings up her ex, like, more than twice in the conversation. Let alone marry someone that says she never wanted to get married to you. That brought the idea, it was her idea for this open relationship. Will never wanted it. You see? Will's got the mind of a, a very emotional mindset. He's not, he's not thinking like a man. You marry a woman, then she's telling you she doesn't want to be monogamous. She wants to be able to, you know, have sex with whoever she wants and and convince you that's a better way. And then you were like, oh, yes, yes, let's do that. This is the people who idolize, y'all. <laughs> These people are weirdos. Imagine going on a red table talk, bringing your whole family uh, private stuff right on the table for everybody the whole world but she doesn't care she, she needs to bring him down to elevate herself 
She keeps talking about Tupac proposed to her while it was alive. Man, I'm going to sit your ass down. <laughs> Tupac was busy with Madonna and all these alien celebrities. He didn't care about you. High school sweetheart. High school sweetheart. Only a few high school sweethearts end up in marriage. Man, go sit your ass down. What are you talking about, man? Talking about someone that's dead, that's not alive, to speak for himself. So it's be just expect everyone to take away. Let the man rest. Let your husband go. Free these people. Here. All nonsense, and of course, they're going to the newspaper and all are going to speak highly of her because you know we live in the era where they venerate the mother goddess, so of course, she can't do no wrong in the mainstream media eyes. Yeah, that's that's the beautiful picture when everything was going great. You see, Trey, this is his son right here, right? From his first wife. This goes back to the African proverb again. When a dog wants to get destroyed, when a dog wants to go missing, he never, he will never hear the calling of its master. Will Smith married a good woman at first. Well, from what everybody could see, well, she wasn't out here humiliating him. He married a good woman that had this, the son with him, the trade, the first son. But he left her to go build this one. It seemed like he was just destined for destruction right here. Now, his career is pretty much gone. You can't watch his movies now. Without that that slap, look, look look at this look at this demon look look at this picture here. Tell me this doesn't look like Cruella Deville? Doesn't this look like some Disney villain right here? Look at this one. You know how evil a woman has to be to turn your kids against you. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow.